I'm doing a rating of all the Tracy Beaker characters. Now, I don't know a lot of them. Like, I get confused at a lot of them. I've got my tier list ready and sorted. And I am ready to tier list. I added two extra tiers to this. So it only went to S, A, D, C. I think I had a D, E, and F. Because it was all like, there's that many characters that, like, I feel like we need this. So... I don't know who to start up with, and I'm gonna I'm gonna forget all of their names. I know like three of the names, but can we just get the easy ones out of the way with like Duke? We <laughs> If you're not putting Duke in S tier, can you please get out of my stream? Uh because Duke only belongs in S tier, and that's the only thing he ever belongs i mean okay let me give you a case if you still don't believe duke is s tier um yes 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 oh 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 <laughs> he was just such a sweetheart and he could do no wrong in my eyes that i just have to put him as s um to be honest with you i don't really know who can put as f because they're all a bit i mean I mean, Louise, was her name Louise? I swear it was Louise. Like, she's low tier, but is she F tier? Like, because if I put her at the bottom, then like, we're saying that she is the worst of the worst. I mean, she was bad. Like, I mean, her storyline was all right. She got adopted in the end. She went into that big ass family, but then zoop, they didn't hear about, they didn't hear from her for the next, you know, like 15,000 years. So I think I might put Louise, ugh. Better than middle. She was boring. <laughs> she was boring. And she was such a bitch to Tracy. Like, wasn't she like Tracy's best friend before Justine Littlewood got there? And I was like, this is unnecessary drama, Louise. We don't we we're not standing this. We don't we're not we're not down for this unnecessary drama. Um so we'll place Louise D tier. She might move down. She might move down just because she is uh one boring AF motherfucker. <laughs> Like, I just can't vibe with... I don't vibe with Louise as much as I vibe with Duke. Because, you know, I'm a, I'm a Duke. I love my Duke. It's when he made them cakes, them fairy cakes, them army fairy cakes. You know, he, he had it all going down. But Louise, she needs to step up her game. Um, another... Let's try... I want to get all the easy ones out of the way with... I mean, we've got to. Tracy made that show... I mean, she was annoying at times, she fucking pissed me off all the time, but she made that show so well, and she owned it so well, and she set up so many storylines before that one season where she wasn't even there, um, for that whole season, I was like, I wasn't even angry about it, because I, I, she set everyone up, like, it was fine, like, she laid in, she, <laughs> she came into it and she laid in the groundwork for everyone, so I have to put an S, I mean, I gotta put her in front of Duke, just because, just because she's iconic. She is iconic. I don't think you can even try and beat her. I don't think anyone. Look, she's in fighting stance. She's ready. She's ready to accept her smash invitation. Like you know, the next six DLC characters are coming in. They're all on this tier list. It's gonna be Duke. It's gonna be Tracy. It's gonna be Roxy. It's gonna be all the Wellards in three characters, like Pokemon Trainer. Um. Other top tier characters. Uh, ugh, see, okay, just Justine Littlewood's S tier as well. Like, she's just that good of a villain that she can't not be S tier. Like, she's just that good. She's just that fucking good, Justine Littlewood, that she just cannot be below S tier. She has to be on the same level as Tracy. Like, if Tracy Beak was an anime. Um, let me try and, like, Tracy Beaker is Naruto, Justine Littwood's Sasuke. That's it. And Duke is Jiraiya. <laughs> Duke is Jiraiya. Um, but yeah, Ju Justine Littwood made the, she made the drama. She made all the drama for Tracy. She had her own drama. I mean, she had a shit dad, but she turned it around. I don't, I'm not going to do a Tracy Beaker Returns tier list because that's problematic for me. But. 
she turns it around and she goes well and she fucking she owns part of the dumping ground i mean that one episode where she broke that clock oh my god that clock was literally shit and then that one episode where they were redecorating the house and she had like shit colored paint on the walls uh of course the tear list is okay louise is down in the dumps d for dumping ground where she belongs um okay i'm trying to think of the s tier queens I might rearrange at the end. Okay, I'm gonna quick. I'm gonna quick. My, I think Mike's S tier. I think she's S tier. Um, I think Roxy's X tier. Uh, I'm trying to look at the rest of the characters. I'm kind of like, uh, she's A tier, B tier, uh, S tier. I need to move some S tiers away because these. The ones I just for just put on aren't on Tracy's level. Like, I'll move them down. They're not on these three level. I mean, Maroon fight this one. <sighs> Let me put him. There he is. There he is. Right in my face. My Maroon five CD. Where's my Maroon five CD? Ah, oh, he had a brilliant thing. Does anyone watch Being Human? He was like a vampire that got turned in turned into a vampire like the age of sixteen. So he's in this constant state of you know. But, yeah, he had one of the most iconic things in the show. Where is my Maroon 5 CD? If this was 2006, they would be memeing it on Twitter. Everyone would be all over the place. You know, like, everyone would be like, Oh, where's my Maroon 5? Oh, I was with the Maroon 5 CD, blah, blah, blah. There'd be GIFs, videos, compilations, vines, TikToks, you know, if this is 2004. But this isn't 2004. So, unfortunately... He has that one shot, and that's it. He's not S tier, Ross. He's not S tier. He is, at best, A tier. Oh, pardon me. For, like, Maroon 5-ness, he is A tier. Everything else, he's a B. A C, even. But, oh, okay. But, okay. I would call him a C, but because of the Maroon 5, I'll bump him up to a B. Okay, I'm going to explain my A tier at the moment because I just quickly put these four on. Um, Mike, do I even need to explain myself? Do I even need to explain myself with Mike? We all know Mike is the best thing in the show. He carried the show so much that he is the only character in all of the Tracy Beaker multiverse. <laughs> I sound crazy. In the Tracy Beaker multiverse to be in all three renditions of the Tracy Beaker story. Tracy Beaker, Tracy Beaker Returns, The Dumping Ground. He is the only one to be in all three. I think Tracy Beaker might have had like a cameo in The Dumping Ground, but we don't know. And Tracy Beaker is in another program soon. We'll see if Mike's in there. But Mike is A tier at least. If Cam was Mike, uh, Tracy's mom, Mike basically was Tracy's dad because Mike was there all the time and then she, Cam adopted her and then she came back to the dumping ground Mike was there again A tier to the gods I mean I, I would put him above Duke but I just love Duke so much and Justine is just so iconic that like I don't really think you can move Justine Littlewood for the, anything um, who is this Shelly? is it Shelly? let me have a look Okay, we're on the Tracy Beaker subreddit. Shelly. Shelly Appleton? Uh, 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 uh. Yep, yeah, this one. Shelly Appleton's A tier. Let me give one reason why she's A tier, and it's only for one joke. And I know I slated Rio for it, but. But. This, her first three episodes she was in, the way they introduced her is they. Um, let me see if they've got it. Let me go back. But when they introduced her, she had this like movement where she didn't move her legs and she was on like a track and she just slide slid across the screen. And they did this for the first couple of episodes she was in and it was iconic. She looked like a ghost. She looks like a banshee. She looked like a demon. And for that reason, I put in A tier. Plush. She was the care worker when Tracy was in the movie, I think. But yeah, and she she helped out a lot in that movie. She had like, she was one of them like, 
really harsh figures, which, like, you know, is like, bah, 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 bah. but, like, they will always give you good advice, and, like, you know, they're really sweet. And that's why she's in A tier. Re Roxy, is this Roxy? Roxy? So Roxy Wellard's there because after Justine leaves in like season three or something, I don't know, um, someone has to be the villain. Someone has to step up their game. Someone has to make the drama in the dumping ground. And that's Roxy. I mean, Rio's there and is it Chantel, this one? She's there as well, but they don't really do anything. It's mainly Roxy that's like, you know, Roxy's the diabolical villain. She's like worse than Justine, but like less likable than Justine. Like we do like we do like Justine. She's the best antagonist. She's Tracy Beaker's Sasuke to her Naruto. Then okay, so if Justine is Sasuke. Tracy is Naruto, Roxy's like Gara or something, like evil in the first season, like, you know, I mean, she doesn't get redemption art, but like, say if Gara when he was evil, he was just the side character of evil just to stir up the drama. Um, and that's why I have to put her eight here, just because she's a good villain. Like, she was sick. She made the drama, that's it. Uh, this is Jenny. I think she was the first, um, first care worker to take over the kids. Um, Jenny was good because she she was just good she was one of them ones that was like had a hidden goofy side so like I remember the one episode this kid this annoying kid okay if there's an F tier it's this guy um that kid had the shoes and he was just that kid was really annoying and he tested Jenny's patience and Jenny oh Jenny was the oh, <laughs> she trooped through and then they all bought ice cream. And I was all like, do you know what? She's got this serious side, Jenny. She's sick. We like her. But then also she's got this goofy side. And I appreciate that. Another goofy moment was when, was it Duke and Jenny? They're on like a double bicycle. Like, I like that. Props to Jenny. We like Jenny. Um, okay, I think we should just go off the top. Um, who was this guy? Was he, was it Jake? Was his name Jake? Okay, we forgot this guy's name. <laughs> but, okay, when I was a kid, so like, you know, ages, well, when it first came out at like eight or something, I'm gonna guess. I was born in 96, so yeah, I'm gonna go with eight. I had the biggest crush on this guy. I really did. Like, I just did. <laughs> so I'm gonna put him on Roxy Wellard thing. I mean, he was also very goofy and like he was had like a really sweet um connection with dolly who was also really annoying but he put up with so much of dolly's crap um and he was a king and i liked him and i fancied him when i was a kid and it that's just what it is that's that's why i have to put him beat here he's not duke level he's not jenny level he's not shelly level he's definitely not mike level but he's all right he's better than c um, and let's do Dolly whilst we're here. Okay, Dolly in the first couple of seasons was there to be annoying. Just annoying. She made so many problems. She once, like, wrecked the bathroom that Tracy had to deal with. And we all know Tracy. Tracy's too S tier to deal with a C tier like Dolly. But the thing is, because she made the drama and because she brought in the drama, she's better than Louise. And she did the drama in, like, a cutesy way like a fun way like a oops it wasn't me this guy the guy at the bottom in f tier ugh. he was really he was dolly level annoying but he's like bah, 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 bah. And then he just he was a literal douchebag for no reason that's why he's f tier now i know okay someone has to be worse than that but i don't think it's gonna happen <gasps> a tier bouncer how could i forget bouncer is a tier let me explain why bouncer is a tier one of the wholesomest of wholesomes in the whole show he was the oldest kid out of all of them maybe Chantel. um maybe this girl i can't remember this girl's name um but bouncer was wholesome um he was a baker 
he had a job. He liked half the co co-workers, Belias. Um, he was brilliant. I liked Bouncer. He was just... He was always there, and he was always nice. He was one of Tracer's... Because Tracy had a three, and it was Crash and this girl. Um, and then Bouncer was always there. And it was just... it was just an, I liked their relationship. And I liked Bouncer's relationship to everyone. No one really hated him. And he was just friendly with everyone. We love... We love friends. And we love Bouncer. Um, okay. Cam. <sighs> Cam's problematic. Because I want to like her. She is, like, likeable. But she's just really, like... Because we see the story from Tracy's perspective, well, it's not like from Tracy's perspective, but like Tracy's our main focus, and like the story shown in such like a Tracy Beaker light, um, that we only ever see Cam in two states, three states: boring and she doesn't do anything, really loving to Tracy, or fucking ripping into Tracy like the parents from the first Harry Potter film, like. There's no, like, in-between. Like, take Bouncer, for example. Like, he's, his character's fleshed out. He's got, like, in ups, downs, in-betweens, in and outs. Cam, like, I appreciate Cam. Because she did do Ka Tracy good. And, like, I mean, Tracy did burn down a kitchen. I mean, she burn, fucking take it as it is. Um, but, yeah. I just feel like she could have been in more. There was a storyline around her mom, and the mom bought her an Xbox and a new TV, and Cam got really angry because she was like, you didn't buy me that! And I was all like, Cam, you're getting a free TV out of it, just go. And if, if, if worse comes to worse, just sell the fucking Xbox on eBay. Just deal with it like that. <laughs> but yeah, I'll keep Cam at B tier. Um, Rio and Hot Ginger, Hot Ginger Guy that I remember. Um, yeah, better than Dolly. Because Dolly, you know, was annoying, but, you know, better than Louise. Because I don't think it's hard to beat Louise at this point, let's be real. I really like this girl. This, uh, can't remember her name for the hell and back, but she was the mystical lady. Um, she was like, oh, crystals, and oh, yeah, crystals. And I was like, do you know what, I like crystals, I'm down. Um, she didn't really have much, have much other than crystals. Um, so I can't give her that much. But I do say, I do rate her as a character, because I thought she was an interesting character. I was all like, she seemed very, very mature for the kids. Like, she was a very mature character in the sense that, like, she knew her ideals and, like, she stuck to her beliefs. Which I, I was like, props to you, honey, props to you. Um, so, yeah, I'll give her a B tier. She's better than Dolly. Um, Bouncer and lol. Lol, lol, lol. Where do we put lol? Um, I want to give lol B tier. <laughs> I want to give lol B tier. Just because... No, I'll give him C tier. Lol was alright. He, he wasn't He wasn't the brilliantest. He, I preferred Bouncer just because I, I thought Bouncer was a bit more you know, friendly and stuff. Lol had his own thing going on. I think he wanted to be a footballer. But lol was a douchebag at times let's be real let's not try and cover it up let's not try and unbury the hatchet lol was a douchebag at times like he came in and it was that one episode when they wanted to switch rooms and he was just such a douchebag and his room was just a football pitch and it was green i was all like lol what are you doing your life stop just stop <laughs> yeah i was there at the ages of 10 like just stop no i kid I, I mean i don't don't rate lol i mean he was a good character i'm glad that he's in there um Oh, I might move down Rio because Lol's better than Rio, but Rio's got Maroon Five. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. Ooh, Chantel. Is this Chantel? Who is this bitch? I can't remember. Uh, Adele. <gasps> Adele. Oh, there we go. I liked Adele as well. I liked Adele because, like Bouncer, she was, like, mature. She was the first one to move to a in-between house. So I think that's at the age of 16 um, in the adoption things in the UK. You... I don't know this. I'm just going out what I presume from the show. Um, you go into in-between house for a couple of years and then you, you move on. Um, it's kind of like a transitional period. Uh, and do you know what? Adele was cool. 
Like, she was an artist, and she made a lot of good art, and, like, I liked her because she was kind of the big sister of the group. Like, because the co-workers were like the parents, and Adele was there as the big sister, and I was like, I'm rooting for Adele, like, I can look up to her, she seems cool, she's got art. Um, but yeah, she wasn't taking anyone's shit either. She was literally like, when Dolly would come up to her, like, can I use your blah, 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 She was like, ugh. Ugh. And I was like, I rate that. I rate her reactions. Let's see. Wolf? Is this guy Wolfie? Um... He was like some. He was in one season, I think. Yeah, he was the wolf guy. He used to sleep outside in the tent. Like, again, he was a one track mind. I think he got on with Bouncer and LOL. Um, but all he really did was sleep outside and was like, I'm the, the guy who's antisocial and don't like new care homes. Ugh. But we already had that storyline with the Wellards. Um, so it's kind of like, he took a different take, and that looks like a mugshot, so he must be in prison. Uh, oh, okay. Let's put this guy in F tier. No one. Was his name Marco? What's his name? No need to find this boy. No one had that guy as a favourite character. And if you did, don't speak to me. Um, let's see, let's see. Someone with an M. Michael. Oh my god. He had a pirate room, and I was like, G -g go away. And then he, he, okay, let me show you a good villain. Roxy, Justine, brilliant villains. Best villains in the world. We love them. Michael, he is like Umbridge from Harry Potter. He is literally Umbridge from Harry Potter in the Tracy Beaker universe, multiverse, sorry. Um... And I'm not stanning. I don't stan him. I never will stan him. I think I actually still hate him to this day. He had a smile that I wanted to punch every single time. And he looks like a 45 year old food reviewer on the TLC network. He literally does. He has his own show. He has his own daytime show where he reviews fast food. That's what I thought of him. Um, and that's why, I'm, that's why I have to put him F tier. This guy and them two didn't rate them. I wish they were removed from the show. I didn't think they added anything. I mean, that this guy was the the other guy was the guy in the blue shop was just trying to be annoying, and Michael was trying to be a villain. But at the time, we had the Wellards there, and it was kind of like we've got Roxy. Do we even need? <gasps> oh, Amber! I liked Amber. I'm gonna put Amber on an A tier. Amber was also one of the mature ones. See, I like the mature ones. I feel like if I did this tier list when I was like a kid, this tier list would be different. But. I think when I was a kid, I was like, do you know what? I like I rate Amber because she was rocker and she was different. And everyone's all like, uh, death melt. Uh. I was like, okay, I stand this. Because all my family, well, my dad and all that, like my brother and all that, was into like rock music and stuff. So I was down. I was vibing with Amber. And I could tell that she was just angry at everything. And she was misunderstood. And no one was taking her seriously. Um... I think what made me like Amber was the one episode with the uh, grass cutter and then this biker family came in with their grass cutter and Duke was going to borrow it to cut the grass but then Amber rode on it and broke it and then the, the biker family were like uh, oh wow well, you can don't worry about it and Tracy was like to Elaine the pain oh what about everyone has a family and then Amber gets adopted by them I think I love that I think just because of that one episode I just was like oh I want Amber to do well in life. I want her to do good. She better be doing good right now. Um, who should we do next? Teddy girl. So she had a teddy and was quiet. Um, notable episodes that I can remember is the one episode she tried to be Tracy Be Beaker, but it didn't really work and she just cried at the end. Um, her mom was in hospital, I think. And that's why she was in the dumping ground. I mean, she was all right. I'm indifferent. I'll put her on C in different tier. I liked her. She was fun. But she's not as fun as B tier. And she's definitely not as fun as A tier. Um, but yeah, she was just it. I mean, she didn't take away anything from the show. She added very little. But like, if she wasn't there, I feel like I would notice. <gasps> Do you know what this list does not have? That guy with the curly hair. I was that guy with the curly hair. And he had like dog shit on his jumper. Um, sorry, I just remembered that. 
these guys are... Oh God. Okay. Um, so they were only in the first season of Tracy Beaker. And they were like the Bouncer and Crash. Before Bouncer and Crash were like cool. Um, much prefer Bouncer and Crash to these guys. These guys were like 1940s gangsters or like... It was like an Ed, Ed, and Eddie situation. Oh, let's try and make some money. Oh, let's try and fix everything. Oh, pass me the spanner. Like, they were like a duo act. Which I, I didn't I didn't hate. Um, but, I don't know. I like this one more than I like this one. I think that one's definitely Louise tier. Like, it was just a bit boring. But this guy, like, he was taught like this. He was taught like this. Uh, I was down for it. I was like, do you know what, man? You just live your life. Like, you're just... You just live your life, King. I'm down for you. Um, but yeah, the other guy was just very boring. I think all I remember him was all like, he acted sick to try and get to WrestleMania or some crap like that. That was about it. Um, this guy, can't remember his name. I'm going to call him Rick. Uh, he's a C tier. He's like low tier on the, uh, what's it called, caretaker list. Like, very low tier. Like, the rest of the caretakers had personality. Sid, I think this guy's name was. Yeah, Sid. Um, he was just low. I mean, he didn't really do anything. He wasn't like Jenny. He didn't He didn't have, like, a goofy side that he showed off. He wasn't like Shelly, which was, like, hell to... Hell's freezing over. Don't mess with Shelly, Shelly. He wasn't definitely not Mike, and he's definitely not Duke. Um... I was going to save this for last, but I'm going to whip out surprise. We're going to put Elaine S here. Elaine carries the show. Elaine was the caretaker that ran through the entirety of Tracy Beaker, the first rendition of it. And Elaine the Pain was iconic. She was iconic. She was hilarious. She was goofy. She was brilliant. She stole the scene every time she was in. She was a dominatrix at one point. Do you remember that one musical episode? And in the end, she was like all dressed up in leather. And she was like, oh, hello, Tracy. I was like, yes. Let me try and get, let me see. Tracy Beaker musical episode. Oh, no, that was Cam's the dominatrix. You, you frizzy air. Yeah. Sorry, it's sad that I know that. I might bump up Cam. Oh, I thought that was Elaine. Where's Elaine? I swear she was like a drunk. Oh, there you go, Queen. Queen. Cam. Oh, see, that's 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 bumped Cam at the top of B tier just because that one scene. But yeah, Elaine is S tier. She was brilliant. Like, she literally did nothing for Tracy, and like kind of fucked Tracy over. But. It was so entertaining. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. It's just, Elaine was just so good. She's just good. I can't really explain it. She was just so good. I might be biased. I might not be biased. But she was just so good that it was unbelievable. Um, Jackie. Jackie. She was alright. She was sports. She had a side plot with her granddad, which was fine. Like, it was just fine. Um... She was one of uh, Tracy's three musketeers. Like, she was fine. She was fine. She was fine. Fine. That's all I can say. She was... Fine. Um, Molly and Marco. I really liked Molly and Marco. Well, I liked Marco. I'm going to put Marco as an A tier. I like that every single episode, this dude came out with a new costume... He was like, I'm going to dress up as this, I'm going to dress up as that, I'm going to dress up as this. And then another one of the... the uh, see, I like storylines where they get adopted. Other than Louise, because like she's she abandoned Tracy and Justine. Um, but when Marco got adopted by them weird people that were like alienologists and they carried pickles around, I was like, yes. And as a weird kid, I related to him. And I was like, yes, Marco. I'm down for the Marco. Um... So yeah, I'll place him eight here. He was sick. Molly was this mute girl that came in a couple of seasons after or before Marco got adopted. And in the very last scene, or like one of the very last scenes, Molly starts speaking. She speaks like this upper class British woman. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry, Tracy. Why did you bog off? And for that, I've got to put a beat here. The rest of the time, she <gasps> Rebecca. Yeah, 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 Rebecca. Um, she was good. 
she was who was whose enemy was she she was Tracy and Justine's enemy like and them to like had to pair up to defeat her like that it was like it was a struggle it was a struggle I believe if I'm thinking of this correct um I liked her because she did make the drama she did make the drama and she was kind of like entertaining because she made the drama and it wasn't in an annoying way like Michael or this these two at the bottom um oh, can we just do this let's just do this meh what's she do someone give me what does she do she looked cool I'd give her that but what did she do what did she do nothing Nothing. This is the, I didn't do anything. Or like, you know, I didn't really do anything to her. Um, but yeah, this girl, I'll put a B. She made the drama. She was fun. It was alright. I was enjoying it. Um, she was sneaky and she was smart as well. Like, she wasn't a dumb girl. She was V smart. She was alright. As again, she didn't really do anything. I can't remember if she got adopted or not. She like kind of had a trio with uh, Dolly... The girl with the teddy and her. It was kind of like them three were to a crew. But like they weren't kind of a crew. Louise was sometimes in there as well. But like we know how we feel about Louise. Um, yeah it was kind of. That was just what it was. Oh, we're talking about. We're coming up to Tracy's boyfriends. Um, ben. Meh. Meh. I mean. He was alright, I liked his storylines, he tried to act poor but he wasn't really poor and he was really super rich and half the time the dumping ground would go over there and like, you know, steal all his stuff. But then he kind of just like went to, I think, he went to military school at like the, the, uh, the start of season 3 and that was about it. And I was like, okay, sure, you go to military school, man, like, do what you need to do. Um, I have to put him beat here just because he was such a big part of Tracy's like development. But he storyline wise he's a C meh he didn't really do anything he was bigger than any of these people maybe Jackie's in B she was just so goddamn boring and angry at everyone which was understandable because she got fucked over but yeah no one's E tier yeah yeah no I can't put Louise in E tier and now we have Crash Crash was good. I preferred him more than Justine. He had anger issues that he'd like to sort out. Um, but he was also like Tracy's voice of reason. He was like the Sakura to Tracy's Naruto. Like it was a good time. Um, I'll put him B tier along with these two. Just because he wasn't that... Again, he didn't really do anything. See, I feel like these storylines in S and A were just so good or like they were just so big person so much of a big personality that i couldn't not have them in s a tier and the b and c and below are just kind of supporting the top two tiers yeah yeah i'm definitely gonna go with that like lol supported bouncer these three just supported tracy louise supported jackie uh, justine uh, the care workers supported Elaine and Duke and all the top care workers. I mean, the, the rest of the Wellards did that. And then you had all, like, the side children that, like, needed... They did need to be there, because we need side children. <coughs> Who have their own, like, separate storylines. That one guy, I can't remember his name, but it was the dude with his curly hair in the season one, and he was, like, kind of uh, Tracy's friend, but then he kind of wasn't Tracy's friend as well, because... No, it was Tracy's best friend. Um, what's his name? I have no idea. Oh, Michael. But I'd put him, I'd put him easily A tier. Easy, easy, easy A tier. We're going to put Tracy's friend A tier. Uh, let's review. S tier. Tracy, confirmed. Has to be the top character in the show. Literally no way going around it. Justine, triple confirmed. Best thing in the world. Duke, my brother Elaine hands down sometimes carried scenes was brilliant amazing ate it Mike brilliant uh, Shelly amazing had some really deep moments was really nice 
hilarious at times as well. Like Jenny had a good goofy side. Jenny had the goofy side, was serious, it was really good. She had nice presence with the kids. Roxy, amazing villain. You knew where she stood, you know what she, you didn't know what she was gonna do next. Like she was just cool. Um Bouncer and Amber and Marco, I like their storylines. I think I like them a bit more than the rest of the kids. I mean all the rest of the kids have cool storylines. But them three I was resonating with. B tier, I'm down for that. All the B tier is alright for me. I might put Tracy's crew at the top of B tier. Just because they were that good. Crystal Girl goes at the back. Molly goes at the back. I only put Molly there because she's a duo with um, Marco. <sighs> C tier guys. You know, the irrelevance. The one that they just needed filler kids, maybe. I don't know. I like them. They were all. I, see, I don't dislike anyone other than anyone below C tier. Um, but yeah. I feel like if they expanded them in the storylines a bit more, I feel like they would have been cool characters. But unfortunately, they didn't really do anything with them. That kid, can't remember his name, but he just I just remember him annoying me. Louise. Two kids at the bottom. Do I even need to say anything? Anyway. Thank you all for watching the Tracy Beaker official multiverse tier list. That's all you need. That is all you need need uh anyway leave a subscription leave a comment down below if you think that my tier list should have been different um if you know anyone's names please put them down also I'll, someone on tinder once messaged me with uh i know the person who plays roxy we can go out with her and i was like what i mean i was kind of tempted not gonna lie but i also was like what um, but yeah, thank you all for watching, uh, thank you all for listening, um, this is 50 minutes of me rating Tracy Beaker characters, or slating Tracy Beaker characters, let's be real, um, but yeah, thank y'all, thank y'all.